can leave Somebody tell me the answers Me and you isn't the answer Me and you isn't Maybe I'm telling myself that But there ain't nothing that'll change that What good would it be If I knew how you felt about me Okay, girl, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so I'm gonna put you on to this new little device that I have called the Lily 3. This is something you've got to get if you're looking to spice things up in the bedroom or if you've been interested in trying a toy and you don't know really where to start, pick you up the Lily 3 by Lelo. It's a personal massager and it's super compact and discreet, so it makes it like a perfect starter toy if you're new to this kind of thing. I personally like to use the Lily 3 as like a pre-game tool to get things going. It offers 10 different vibration patterns, varying intensities from a teasing murmur to a satisfying pulse, and you'll love how it just fits your body like a glove, and there's no need to worry because she is 100% waterproof and built to last and made for long-term satisfaction. It's super simple and easy to use. All you have to do is add a liberal amount of personal moisturizer onto the Lily 3, place it on your body, turn it on, and then start exploring your different sweet spots. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, click the link in my description box below and thank me later. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is date night. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me through all the steps that I do to prepare for a date a date night okay if you've been here for a long time you know what type of video this is if you're new here you're in for a treat so just go ahead and like comment and subscribe already girl because you're definitely gonna want to say after this okay i have not felt one of these in so long and i'm so 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 excited to get back into doing these so without doing a whole bunch of ranting let's get ready for our day my thing is hygiene okay i can't give y'all a lot of hair makeup a lot of that, but one thing that I can put you on to is your feminine hygiene. So all hygiene definitely starts from within. So a couple of things that I like to take to just kind of like maintain my feminine health is all up in this cocktail right here, which is cranberry juice. You can get the real cranberry juice. Um, the way my taste buds are set up, I do the cranberry cocktail, but can be really helpful for your urinary tract health and preventing you from getting UTIs. So I use the juice as my base to kind of give it a little bit of flavor and make the drink kind of tasty. And then I added in some berry flavored hyaluronic acid. And I really like hyaluronic acid. It's one of these new things that I discovered for, like taking internally because it's heavily marketed to us right now about using it on our skin, like keep our skin, you know, supple and hydrated, but if you take it, it can give you the same benefits within. The reason why that's key to your feminine hygiene is because it just acts like an internal lubricant. So if you get what I'm putting down, yeah. Which can also be super helpful if you are postpartum and experiencing anything a little unpleasant down in that area. So the next thing that I put in here is chlorophyll. That is my tried and true. We love her. I've been taking chlorophyll for years now, and I swear to you guys, as long as I'm taking it consistently, I do not have any body odor. Like, I don't have any body odor. I don't have to wear deodorant. I don't have to do nothing. Chlorophyll is that girl, and if you're not taking her, you need to be. So I'll kind of alternate in between the capsules and the liquid form. I was trying out the liquid form, but I'm really more of a capsule girl, to be honest with you it's just easier to take chlorophyll doesn't really taste the best that's why i do this whole little mix drink here so it's good but yeah chlorophyll is an internal deodorizer so it's going to just help us stay smelling good and fresh the next thing that i have in here is slippery elm and slippery elm goes hand in hand with the hyaluronic acid it acts as like an internal lubricant and it just lines the inside of your body organs and helps to produce more of the mucus that lines the inside of your body that includes your coochie okay <laughs> so i put that in there and then the last thing that i add in there is liquid probiotics all of your systems really go based off your gut health so if your gut health is not good nothing else is going to be working properly and probiotics are like the number one thing that you can do to help with your gut health so i also put my liquid probiotics in here as well and now we got this nice little vitamin cocktail and i'm super picky about what i drink so if I can drink it, y'all can drink it. It's really not that bad. The things that taste the worst out of the whole cocktail is like the slippery elm and the chlorophyll. So sometimes I'll put those in like a separate shot glass and just take them as a shot if I want to like enjoy the drink more. It doesn't really taste bad. 
but you can get the little hint of the chlorophyll and chlorophyll can also stain like your teeth and your tongue and stuff so i would definitely recommend drinking it with a straw or you're gonna have like green mouth we don't want that so i'm gonna go ahead and just kill this right now while i'm already down here and get everything going and flowing into the system okay And this is something that I take every single day, not just on a little date night. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited about tonight's date, though. Instead of going to, like, a fancy restaurant like we normally do, we're going to do, like, um, this thing. Well, it's a place called Puttery. I know they don't have it everywhere, but they just got one in Dallas, I want to say, like, last year. And I've been wanting to go ever since. It's basically, like, a place where you go, like, putt-putt. But they give you like drinks and shots at every hole that you're putting it. It's just a chill, casual little date. I'll probably get some food before we go and then we're gonna go do that and then just come home. So. Okay. Cheers. We finished that. If you don't follow me on Instagram or anything, I haven't been paying attention to anything that I've been saying lately on the internet. Listen. You need to get this, okay? <laughs> you need to get this. I am in complete and utter awe about this water, okay? It is a game changer. Like, everything that I put in that little drink is cool. That's going to give you a little zhuzh, right? And it does help. This is going to take it to the next level, okay? <laughs> I don't know what they put up in here. Well, actually, I do. It's like two billion active probiotic cultures, which I just said probiotics is good for everything, right? Okay, this stuff is going to. Yeah, so go ahead and get you one of these. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link them from Amazon, but if you don't want to like buy a whole case because you don't trust me, which you should at this point, girl, because be for real, but you can get them from like Sam's Club, Walmart, and places like that, and they sell them like in the individual bottle. But the strawberry lemonade one is my favorite by far. Another little tip that I can give you for drinking it is don't drink it cold, drink it warm. It hits different, or not warm, but at room temperature. It just hits different because the way your body does its absorption process and stuff like that, it doesn't really like cold um, things and it like especially water and it tries to like get it out of your system faster so if you drink it while it's at room temperature it's going to give everything a better chance of like absorbing into your body like i say i don't know what's in here but you need to get this this is um certified like <laughs> so if you haven't already go ahead and get this is not sponsored or nothing like i wish they were sponsoring me honest to god like they need to be sponsoring me at this point but this right here yeah real good so anyways you just pop the cap that's where all the probiotics are and then it goes into the water and then you shake it up and then you just drink it so i'm gonna be drinking this while i'm getting ready it's always a good idea to stay hydrated because hydrated this way means hydrated but what goes in the body must come out y'all know i'm really trying to work on my um being sensory I'm gonna be censoring what I'm saying because you're gonna have to like or catch me in the comments, okay? That's how we're starting out this little routine. The next thing that we're gonna go do is get in the shower and get fresh and clean. I have the best shower routine for you guys. This is the shower routine that I would use every single day, but especially if you wanna do it on like a date night. Ugh, chef's kiss. So we're gonna go hop in the shower. We're gonna fix all of this, obviously. Listen, if you don't know, I have like three kids and so it's just what I look like on a regular day basis. But we're gonna look cute tonight since we're going on a little date with our man. But this is this is where we start now. <laughs> okay, so let's go hop in the shower. We're gonna chat all things body hygiene. Um, I don't really can't really give y'all that good of outfit or hair advice, but we are gonna put on an outfit and do my hair in this video as well. So get you some caramel water and enjoy the show. <laughs> Okay, hopping straight into the shower. The first thing that I'm going to go in with is my base cleanser. I love the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap. I like to lather this all over my body with a rag and just get really clean and focus it mainly on my backside area to just help eliminate any odor. Next thing that I'm going to go in with is Panoxyl. This kills any 
odor causing bacteria that you accumulate underneath your armpits so it's basically just a preventative cleanser for me and i like to use it as a mask and so i just let it sit under my armpits until the end of my shower and then i rinse it off and if you guys have been watching my videos you know these two products specifically i've been using for a long long time so i'm gonna keep on using them girl if it's not broke don't fix it okay these two things will get you right if you struggle with any type of body odor and then the body cleanser that i'm gonna use to start building up all of my fragrances so i can smell really really good it's gonna be this way melrose body wash you guys if you keep up with my vlogs and you already know what this little routine is but let me tell you sis you need to get these products okay you are gonna smell amazing and they last so so long even the shower products last when you get out of the shower and they smell up the whole bathroom and it's hard to come by body washes and body scrubs that still keep their fragrance even after you get out of the shower but these little whey products yeah this is this is it right here okay and then i'm gonna go in with my little foot spongibles i love these i've been using these also for years you guys they already come with soap put into the sponge so you don't need to add anything to them you can just get them wet and just start scrub it up a dub in your feet okay you know my rule of thumb baby if your toes are gonna be in somebody's mouth please please wash them okay extensively <laughs> and then next i'm going in with the way scalp and body melrose scrub this chef's kiss they both have the same scent and they are a little bit pricey so i'm gonna give you guys a little dupe for the scrub if you're interested it's by the brand raw sugar i'll link it you can get it at target and it's their melrose body polish so it's not as exfoliating as this scrub but if you pair it with exfoliating gloves you can get the same effect for half the price so yeah if you don't want to invest in both products try the dupe i promise it smells the exact same and it still leaves your body moisturized like this uh, way scrub does but yeah i'll just turn off the water when i'm exfoliating so i can really get in there and get all the dead skin cells off and leave my skin real soft and smooth and then we're gonna get into shaving so you can use any type of oil shaving cream in the shower it doesn't matter this is just the one that i have i'll link it if you're interested it's a little bit pricey i'm gonna use it because i bought it you feel me shave my underarms i always go in a downward motion when i'm shaving my armpits this is the only thing that i really need to touch up i didn't shave my legs so that's it and then for feminine wash, I'm going in with this one. I don't know the name of the brand. I'm so sorry, um, but I will link it for, for you guys. You can get off Amazon and Target. Now, the girls who are tried and true, they know that I used to be a VH Essentials girly. And while I still love that, if it works for you, personally for me, after I had my third baby, I couldn't use it anymore. It was just too intense down there and I needed something even more sensitive. If you're a mom, you probably know, like each kid leaves their own mark on your cooch. Okay, I've had to change feminine washes after every single baby. I don't know what it is. It's just changes it gets a little bit more sensitive down there and this is a very sensitive foam wash it gets me really clean though and doesn't leave any odor or smells behind so i love it and this is what i've been using obviously just got out of the shower so we are smelling amazing the whole bathroom smells so good i love, love 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 these products and since we're sticking to this like mel rose theme scent i'm gonna share with you guys some body care products that are just going to enhance and keep you smelling good for the whole rest of the night okay well, i am a firm believer in doing your body care like right after you get out of the shower especially preventative odor care because you don't want to be sitting around doing your makeup doing your hair getting all hot and sweaty in the bathroom and then you get back musty before you leave the house like i personally that used to happen to me when i was younger and i learned from that and so now we do everything that we need to do to smell good before we start getting ready so the first thing that i'm gonna do is odor prevention so the first thing that i'm gonna do is my oldest trick in the book okay witch hazel on a cotton pad i personally use the fairs um <clears throat> lemongrass toner it does have salicylic acid in it it's alcohol free though i personally haven't had any problems with it but an alternative i could give you that has the same lemon scent is the dickerson one it looks like this i will link both of them for you guys if you're more sensitive in that area um that i'm talking about which is your behind that's where we're gonna swipe and wipe if you're new here basically witch hazel is an astringent and it kills like we're causing bacteria which prevents smell and mustiness in between your cheeks okay okay so that was step one the next thing that i really like to use 
just to make sure, okay? Just to make sure is some glycolic acid from The Ordinary and I like to put it underneath my armpits. It's not only gonna help with preventing like razor burn and razor bumps from just shaving, but it's also going to help prevent odor. Again, because it does the same thing, it kills the odor causing bacteria. So we are not gonna have no smell in sight except for all the good things that we put on our body, okay? All right, the next thing that we're gonna go in with is our Loom Whole Body Deodorant. They sell this in Target now. Can we get a little round of applause? I'm super excited because um, I don't ever really try a lot of their different fragrances because it just wasn't as easily accessible because you have to like buy it from their website and I'm a two day shipping overnight type of girl. So I just didn't say it right with me. <laughs> but since they have them in Target now, it's more accessible and I got to like smell all the fragrances. And when I smelled this one, I was like, that goes perfectly with this whole routine that I have because it's a peony rose and it smells like the Melrose. So we're going to use this as our deodorant. Now something that I can say is if you get the um, liquid version, it's a little bit stronger if you like, you know, struggle with like body odor or something like that. So it's going to be a little bit more intense than just the bar sticks that they have. But it does have like a weird smell at first, but don't worry because it goes away and it fades into like the scent that it's supposed to be. But when you first like like take it out of the bottle, it does have like a, a weird odor. So just don't pay attention to that. I'm gonna use it on my underarms because it matches the vibes. And then I'm also gonna put it between my butt cheeks because I love a good booty deodorant. I have a couple and this matches with the rest of the fragrances. So I'm gonna put it in between my butt and the creases of my thighs. Okay, next up is moisturizers. So we're gonna moisturize our entire body, but we also have to give our special girl some special treatment, okay? So I'm going to use this Restore Oil. It's in the scent Strawberry. I'll tell y'all the brand, but I really don't like the brand because I did a collab with them. They never paid me, so shade to them for real, for real. But I do like the smell of this, and I feel like it goes with the routine, but you don't need to go out and buy it. You can just use coconut oil if you want. But I already had it because they sent it to me, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> it just smells real good. It is very um potent in its fragrance so if you get easily irritated down there and i'm not saying put it inside like this is solely just on the part that we shave the outside okay um to add some like moisture back to it but you can just use coconut oil you don't need anything that's like fragrance or scented i just have it and i've never had any problems with it again i don't put it anywhere inside it stays just on the top where we shave um and maybe a little bit increases but nothing inside because that would be an issue but yeah, I do like to use a different moisturizer on my lady parts than the rest of my body. So I'll either use an oil, like the sweet cookie oil I really like. Um, I like the watermelon scent that they have in that. Or I'll just use regular coconut oil if it's just every day. The next thing that I'm going to use as my base moisturizer for my entire body is the Necessary Body Serum. This is hyaluronic acid. Love this. It makes your skin super like supple and plump and just really, really, really hydrates your skin. A good tip to using it though is like use it right when you get out of the shower. Don't towel dry or anything before you get out and put it all over your body where you're still kind of moist. That way it can really walk in all the moisture. But I'm going to go ahead and put this all over my body and then we'll get right back into it. The next thing that we're going to do before we go into like the fragranced body care is take a couple of things. So I already know it might be too much for you, but I'm just telling y'all what I do. You don't got to do it, okay? I'm not nobody doctor, gyno, mama, well, I am three people's mama, but not your mama, so you don't gotta listen to me, <laughs> but it's obviously up to your discretion. I like taking fenugreek. I don't take it every single day. I only take it if it's like a day and night, okay? Because like, you know, I'm trying to do a little too much for my man's, and that's okay. If that's not your vibe, that's not your vibe. But fenugreek makes you taste and smell sweet if you don't already know, and it kicks in instantly or almost instantly. Like you just need to like 30 minutes to an hour for it to really like get through your system and for you to start seeing the benefits of it. So I just take it like same day or same night or whenever I have like a little date night or something. Drink that down with your caramel water. <laughs> I'm gonna stop giving them free promo in a minute. So just know this was my last time telling y'all to get this, okay? And then I also take on a regular basis is in the mood by the ray basically just has like ashwagandha and maca and stuff like that which can help 
intensify things and also just like boost your libido and helps you get in the mood. One thing I do want you guys to keep in mind too is just being gracious in the comments because even if you're young and you may not need this stuff, things like this are very, very helpful to people who are postpartum and even when you get older. So if you're like 18 watching this and you're like, girl, I don't need all that, come back here. When you turn like, when you get over 21, your body will <laughs> before you know it, okay? So don't let the little fresh youngness fool you. I definitely don't think all these things are like necessarily necessities, but it's just like, you know, boost up your confidence, your mood, make you feel good. It's being about girly and being feminine more so than as a necessity, if that makes sense. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, let's go into the closet. That's where I keep like my fragrances and my body care and stuff. And we're gonna go get nice and lathered up and smelling good. All right, so let's just go ahead and hop into body care. If you've already seen this like a little combo before, then you can skip. But I'm about to rave about it again because this is really like one of my favorite combos right now. Um, it's all the products that I use in the shower combined with these body products from Sol de Janeiro and then a perfume from Burberry. I'm telling you guys like, this is something like if you are like me and you like to just have like one staple routine and you just want to smell delicious all the time, like you need to get this stuff. The first thing that we're going to do is mist ourselves with the Brazilian Crush, this is the Cherry Osa, Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. Spray yourself a couple places where you're going to put the body lotion. This is like if you want this to smell good like all night long till like when you wake up in the morning. So spray yourself first and then take a little bit of this. This is the matching body lotion. So it's the same exact thing <clears throat> in a cream. It goes a long way. So like melt it down in your hands a lot first before you put it on or you'll be like rubbing for days. Like you don't need a lot of it at all. Like you can just like pat it and then like rub it in. When I'm telling you, it's like so thick. A teeny tiny 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 bit is gonna go a long way which is really nice too because these products I mean for a body lotion it's a little bit expensive but at least you know that it's gonna last you like a super long time so we're gonna put it everywhere that our body is still exposed in don't mind my dirty closet or my fupa but I'm gonna sit down to put my lotion on my legs so I'm telling you melt it down okay and then rub it in And it smells so fresh and so clean, clean. I love this. This is like one of my favorite like little combos I done ever had. And I I had a lot back in the day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some on my feet too. Just to lotion them up. All right. And then I am going to go in just with a little bit of this Summer Fridays. It looks like this. Um, it's just like a body glow. It has like a very light, um, I don't want to even say vanilla-y. It's kind of like a cocoa butter scent, but you're not going to be able to smell it. But anyways, I'm just going to apply it to my chest because what I'm wearing, is I'm going to like unzip it a little bit. So it'll give that glow effect. It's still cold in winter time, so I'm not going to like be having the rest of my body showing. So. For tonight, you know, I'll do the whole body, but just the chest area. <clears throat> Another tip that I would have is to get these little travel um, Amazon perfume refillable things. I mix the two perfumes and I put them in here and I put this in my purse just in case I want to respray myself while I'm out. And then I also have a little hand sanitizer, but I'll pack my purse with you guys before I leave. And then the last little step is the Burberry Herd. I have the regular one. You can get the Elixir if you want. I don't really think it honestly makes that big of a difference to me. Yeah, I'm going to spray that um, just a little bit lightly on my skin. And then when I get my whole outfit on, I'm going to respray myself with both of the perfumes. So, yeah, I am going to do my hair off camera because I have to blow dry it and... There'll be no point in y'all hearing me blow dry my hair. So once I get my hair done, then I'll come back. We'll do the outfit, chat a little bit, pack the purse, and um, finish up with everything that we got going on. So 
I also just wanted to show y'all my oral hygiene routine really quickly because I forgot to film it in the video. Basically, I use a tongue scraper. We love this. It just gets all the gunk off your tongue, which is where your bad breath and the odor comes from. So highly would recommend using that if you don't already. And then, and then I've been trying out this Moon toothpaste and I like it okay. I don't know if there's really anything special about it, but something that I really do like is my toothbrush. And I got this one off of Amazon. I like it because it's touchscreen and you can change the modes, intensities, duration. It tracks everything. It also has an app. So it's basically like a quick toothbrush, but it does a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I like this. I'll link it for you guys if you're interested. And all these products are already up in a hygiene routine that i have on my channel and i go into a little bit more depth about them but if you don't use smart mouth you need to get it this will keep your breath smelling like literally nothing like fresh all day i recommend getting the ones that have the pumps and not the ones with the spout because i don't like the way it pours but yeah get that work to mouth out with it no odor and then something else that you can do for your oral hygiene and just oral health is oil pulling so this is the one that i like to use it's coconut and mint and there's a lot of benefits to oil pulling. I'm not going to go too, too in depth, but if you want to check out my other video, I will leave it linked in the description box. But yeah, that's something that I'll follow up with afterwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I did my hair and stuff and just put it in like a little ponytail and I did a little bit of concealer and highlighter, but y'all know I really don't know how to do makeup. So that's really it. I'm mixing my perfumes. And then I was gonna put my stuff in my purse, but I really don't know which purse I'm gonna take yet. Oh, the strap's in the back. I found it. We are looking for the strap in my bag because I was gonna take the chain off so I can wear it as like crossbody. Ugh. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I have on some sneakers, so it's just a little sporty look I was going for. And then I'm going to show y'all what we drinking, because I used to do that too when I first started making these videos. <laughs> Where's the little thing? I don't know where the little pouch is. Aww. Oh, I don't know. It comes with like this little pocket piece that goes on it, but I don't know where it is. <clears throat> okay yeah that looks it looks it's getting sporty casual i don't know i might put the chain back on okay things i'm taking in my purse this right here that's my little perfume combo i'm gonna take my hand sanitizer and my id and all my cards and stuff yeah <laughs> and then um what else oh i have these little travel size baby wipes where are they hold on got these little booty wipes i'm gonna put those in there and then i'm just gonna take my summer fridays lip balm because that's all i have on my lips anyways right now but that's it for look get ready with me um we definitely gonna go into more depth more detail more of these i'll probably do like a sit down chit chat with me one of these soon um but tonight yeah, i just was kind of getting ready and it's already 10 o'clock so we gotta go um but yeah, see you in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.